I think when we look at biodiversity in the farm planning context, biodiversity is no different to anything else on a farm. It's the same as a crop or a, or, or a, or a type of livestock. You know, you're, 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 you're managing it, you're, you're uh, monitoring it, and you're making decisions based on the results you're monitoring, and then it's feeding back into your management again the next year. And I think biodiversity is the same. You know, you're, you're, you're looking at it, you might be doing some planting or some pest control, you monitor how successful it's been, um, you look at your results you're monitoring, and then you feed it back into your planning again the next year. So, so I think about biodiversity as just another component of farm planning. When it comes to biodiversity, I think the things I want to know about um, would be what, what have you got? What's your um, big picture goal for biodiversity on your farm? Do you want to have abundant you know, tuna eels in your streams? Do you want to have you know, flourishing hillsides with, 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 with kōwhai and, and korimako and tui on them? And then think about, well, what are the things that are opportunities on my farm to achieve that, that vision? And what are the things on my farm that might limit my ability to achieve that vision? I might have pigs coming in from next door or, or I might have a wild and conifers invading. And then once you understand those things, you can then start saying, okay, well, what are the management actions I need to do and some of those actions take time so you might want to fence a gully out um, to look after that bit of bush but that gully is important for water for your livestock so you need to put reticulated water in first so if you've got a plan um, and you do reticulated water in year one you do fencing in year two and then you might start controlling pigs or invasive plants in year three so it's working it through as part of that normal planning just like you might want to shift your your, your, your lamb your, your sheep breed or your lamb weights or something through time biodiversity is the same you do it incrementally mentally, work it through in steps, monitor, adjust your management and response and then move on from there.